Kasha sitter här i fotöljen framför mig. Vi sitter på hotell Hasselbacken i trevliga rutiga fotöljer. Och hennes ögon de bara lyser. Hon ser otroligt levande och livsstark ut. Congratulations to the prize. Thank you. How do you feel about that? Um, honored, happy, excited to join the, the family, the new family of the Right Livelihood Award, but also motivated. Can you tell me something about your work? Um, I'm a feminist and I'm a human rights defender from Uganda uh, with a specific interest on LGBT rights uh, in my country or what you would call sexual minorities. And we do a lot of work to try to, to see that we create a safe environment for us to live freely without persecution, without violence. And we do this uh, through different projects. Um, leadership, um, economic empowerment, advocacy, uh, administration, but more so importantly is to build a, a community where people can have a belonging. Since many people are lonely uh, and they that you know neglected by their families so they don't have a place where they can go and be themselves so we also do a lot of community building to see to it that people are not forced to commit suicide because they feel lonely. Kasha berättar precis att hon känner sig oerhört glad för priset hon har fått och också att hon arbetar mycket för de här mänskliga rättighetsfrågorna i sitt hemland Uganda genom olika projekt och man försöker också nå ut till människor eh, som är utsatta och att de inte ska känna sig ensamma. What kind of risk do you take in your work? The risk is that uh, you could be beaten, you could be killed, you could be poisoned, you could wake up, you could never wake up one day in your house. That is the risk you take every day. Risken som hon tar varje dag det är att bli dödad eller förgiftad och det finns ständigt med henne. What makes you keep going and fighting for these issues? Tired, getting enough. Uh, and, and I'm just tired of seeing the injustice. I'm just tired of seeing the persecution. I feel enough is enough. Something needs to be done. And that for me keeps me going. But also hope, knowing that one day it will be better. Kasha säger att det som gör att hon kämpar för de här sakerna är att hon är trött på att se orättvisorna och att hon vill helt enkelt ha en förändring. What does it mean to you to meet Conchita? <laughs> uh, great honor. Um, it's unbelievable because um, it was real. It, it's not television. <laughs> it was real but also a great honor because people like Conchita have um, platforms to, to help very many struggles around the world. Music is a very powerful tool. And if people love your music, they will also love your ideas. Conchita Burst har också kommit in i rummet och satt sig i en av fotöljerna i långt svart hår och en snygg svart dress med långa fransar på. Hi. Hi. Thank you for having me. <laughs> It's a pleasure. <laughs> Thanks. I wonder in your work, how do you help people like Kasha? I really have a very, very personal opinion about that because many people here in Europe refer to me as a spokesperson, a role model or whatever. Are you a role model? That's what I wanted to say. I'm not. I'm not. Because what I do is just entertainment and speaking out my mind, right? I'm not risking my family. I'm not risking my life. But Kasha does those things and she has to be afraid, as I said before, to stay alive the whole day. Right. So she's a role model. She's a spokesperson. She's an icon and we should really look up to her. Conchita säger att hon är egentligen inte någon speciell person men hon kan föra talan. Men Kasha å andra sidan är den som är verkligen en hjälte som vågar kämpa för människors rättigheter i ett land där du kan bli dödad om det är en hbtq person. Thank you so much for taking time for the Swedish radio. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs>